Hey there fellow travelers, Mark here with Walter's World. Today we're in Split, Croatia, the second largest city in Croatia. And kind of one of the big focal points for people coming in here because we're on the Dalmatian coast. Lots of islands to visit around here, easy access to a lot of cool stuff around the whole country or at least this southern part of the country. And so what I want to give you today are things you can see and do when you do come here to Split because a lot of tourists do come here because it has a lot to offer. And the biggest thing out there, if you look past that boat there, you see that bell tower coming up. That's at the cathedral, which is inside the Dio, inside of Diocletian's palace. Look, there's a Roman emperor in the rear, year about 300, really bad for the Christians, like murdered thousands and thousands of them. This was his retirement home, okay? He had this place built and it was an amazing huge palace. And what ended up happening is people left. And when the city people from another city came in here when this is all abandoned they built their city inside of the walls of the palace like that's how big it is if you go in there when you first come in through, through through the south gate you come in and you literally walk into their basement with these huge huge rooms uh that you go into and it's like wow it's just amazing how big it is but that was kind of like the the foundations for the palace above and the thing is they built the city into the facades and into the walls so when you go you'll see the old roman pa palace facade with the new built new buildings from the yeah, like 500 600 700 years ago <laughs> built into the side of them and it is really amazing and when you go in there you don't really see the palace itself because they turned the palace the city inside of it well you'll see is some of the things in there one you'll see diocletian's uh mausoleum now the guy hated christians like he thought he was the son of jupiter so he really was persecuting the christians and so to get him back his mausoleum which was beautiful they turned into the cathedral and they built that bell tower right there. They built that at the mausoleum right by there. And so you can go check that out. Across the way from there, there's the Temple of Jupiter. Because remember, that was his dad. Okay, so there it had that, but now it's actually the baptistry for the cathedral. So that's kind of cool. When you walk through that part of town, obviously he says they built a town inside of where a palace was. There's lots of these little tiny small streets with lots of little tiny squares with cafes and restaurants and stuff to go to. And this is a really popular summer draw for a lot of people from around Europe because they've got beaches here. You can head out the islands like Havar and stuff like that. You can go to their historic cities like Trogia, which is a, a actually it's popular for yachting and it's this little island with with another beautiful churches on there and this makes a really good base if you want to go to the Kirka waterfalls and go see them in the national park or go see the lakes or get around there's all kinds of cool stuff to do snorkeling or diving stuff like that renting boats all kinds of stuff is one of those things you can do here and of course hitting the beaches because the beaches here in Croatia though they can be pebbly sometimes and rocky so bring some good shoes when you do do that but but it is beautiful with the weather when you are here and another thing is with this obviously when you have a beach town it's a lot more fun stuff so there's a lot of restaurants there's a lot of bars there's a lot of nightlife you can go to and along the waterfront here they have what's called the Riva and that's kind of like the new the new fangled waterfront stuff that some locals don't like very much and they'll go up to you know like <coughs> Republic Square or they'll go up in one of the, the squares up in town and, and, and have their drinks there instead and the thing is, when you come here, if you get some of the guides, you'll really see how proud they are of their city and their share of the stories and things like that. So that's pretty cool. And the thing is, there's a lot of little small museums when you come here. Um, you've got the city museum, which you can check out. There's an ethnographic museum, so you can see the, the folklore and how they used to dress and stuff like that. My mom really likes that one, so she wanted me to make sure I mentioned that. You have some smaller art galleries that are here. And the thing is, there's a sculptor that's from here. It's a relatively re recent artist who is famous throughout the world in terms of his, his sculptures and stuff like that. Ivan Mestrovich, I know I mess up all the names here, but Mestrovich is he's famous for his sculptures with really long fingers and you'll see it around town. There's one of Greg Arnitsky and uh, and basically you'll see people rub his toe you know for good luck and stuff like that outside the west gate and it's kind of a really impressive statue and he's got actually has a has a, a workshop that he actually designed for him to live and his, show his works and stuff like that. Not, it's not here, it's going down, follow along the, the waterfront and keep going. Not in the old town, keep going down there. You can check that out. There's also a fine art gallery that's here. There's another you know local artist museum that's here. So there's a lot of little tiny museums you can visit when you do come here. So it is kind of nice. So you can have the beach and the fun and go out to the islands and take a ferry out there and stuff like that, but also do cultural things. Now, other cultural things you really need to do is 
going back inside the palace, one of the coolest things I saw was the square inside of the center. And in there, you come out of the of the mausoleum or the cathedral, however you want to call it, and you come out there onto the square. There's some cafes and stuff like there, but the thing is, you see the Roman columns going around. You see a sphinx. Yes, they found sphinx all around the town here because the Neocletian really liked them, so he collected them. So they're around town. You'll see some of them broken off and stuff like that. But you know, you get your picture, don't mess with them, but they're there. And you have this kind of really cool square to see and kind of take in and get your bearings and walk around and walk through the city. And it is really cool. And it is, that is a UNESCO World Heritage Site. That's the thing is Croatia has seven UNESCO World Heritage Sites and one's right there. So it is really kind of a must see when you are here. Now, in terms of transportation here in Split, now a lot of cruises come through here, big and small. So you can come in and the harbor is actually where the bus station and the train station and the harbor are all at the same spot. Like it's right down there where the bus station is. And there's buses to go from the train station out to the airport. So you can do that. So it's kind of easy to get around. So if you're flying into Split, you can come in and grab a bus to get to other parts of the country or maybe grab a ship or a cruise or a ferry to one of the islands like Havar or Vis or something like that. So that is kind of cool. And the thing is, is you really can see a lot of nice little historic places around Split when you are here, but it does make a good base because it has the shopping, the restaurants, the hotels, the, the you know, apartments and stuff like that. So that is kind of cool. Anyway, that's just a quick little video on some things you can see and do when you do come here to Split. I had a nice time. We've been, I've been here all day and I'm ready to go out for the evening to have a beer and stuff like that or the local Croatian wine. I guess for some food you might want to have here, the black risotto is nice. You'll see that on a lot of menus. Homemade gnocchis are okay too to have here. Also, there's a I don't know how I don't know what it's called, but it looks like two pieces of pizza smashed together, but it's not pizza. It's a local treat a treat. It's basically that Swiss chard or, or spinach inside with onion and, and garlic and stuff like that. It's really made not to kiss people afterwards or talk to them, but that's a kind of a local snack you might have. You also see pizza slices and ice cream and all those things, like in most parts of the Dalmatian coast in Croatia as well. But uh, it is a nice town. I do recommend coming stopping by. Um, if you want to learn more about coming to Croatia five things you love and hate about Croatia, the don'ts of visiting Croatia, what you should know before you come to Croatia, five things you love and hate about Dubrovnik. We have all that on our website at waltersworld.com. We're also on Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, YouTube, and we really appreciate your likes and subscriptions, and we hope you have a great time here in Split. It is a nice little town. And as my guide said, no, Split is not from the name Banana Split. It's actually a variation of a Greek word, which was changed to a Latin word, which was changed to a Croatian word. It's based off a yellow bush that grows up on these hills so oh you can actually hike up in those mountains too so that's kind of cool too <laughs> bye from split